Mike Johnson was largely unknown before becoming Speaker of the House, but once he was elected Speaker, we quickly learned that he was one of the individuals to support Trump's attempt to overthrow U.S. democracy, and we also learned that he hates gays. And when I say hates gays, I mean he really, really, really f hates gay people, and there are countless examples to demonstrate this. After the Supreme Court struck down Roe v. Wade, Clarence Thomas expressed his intent to revisit the Obergefell decision in a concurring opinion, and Johnson defended and agreed with Thomas, saying, There's been some really bad law made. He said, They've made a mess of our jurisprudence in this country for the last several decades, and maybe some of that needs to be cleaned up. And it's not surprising, considering he wrote an op-ed in 2003 supporting the criminalization of homosexuality. Also, Rolling Stone reports, talking to Pastor Jim Garlow on a broadcast of the World Prayer Network, Johnson spoke ominously of America facing a civilizational moment. He said the only question is, is God going to allow our nation to enter a time of judgment for our collective sins, or is he going to give us one more chance to restore the foundations and return to him? The segment was filmed on October 3rd, just weeks before Johnson's unexpected rise to become Speaker of the House. Garlow pressed the clean-cut Louisiana Congress congressman to say more about this time of judgment for America. Johnson replied, the culture is so dark and depraved that it almost seems irredeemable. He cited as supposed evidence the decline of national church attendance and the rise of LGBTQ youth. The fact, Johnson lamented, that one in four high school students identifies as something other than straight. Now, LGBTQ Nation adds, more recently, as a member of Congress, Johnson introduced a federal version of Florida's Don't Say Gay law, falsely accused President Joe Biden of breaking federal law by displaying the Progress Pride flag outside the White House, and claimed that parents do not have the right to provide their children with access to gender-affirming health care. They go on. Johnson still sits on the board of a conservative Christian publishing company that says monkeypox is the appropriate penalty for being gay. His wife, Kelly, runs a Christian counseling service that compared LGBTQ plus identities to bestiality on its website. So his views alone are detestable in and of itself. But earlier this month, the Daily Beast discovered some of the clients that he represented in his capacity as a constitutional lawyer. And they write, the Daily Beast's review turned up one former Johnson client who said the government should be a terror to abortion providers and the LGBTQ community, another who opposed the condemnation of domestic terrorist attacks on abortion clinics, and another client who went on to record himself endorsing the hanging of government officials while in the thick of the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. That former client now leads a militant organization tied to one of the darkest chapters in the anti-abortion movement, the 2009 murder of a Kansas abortion doctor. And that plaintiff's father also turned to John when he wanted to secure a permit in 2003 for an anti-LGBTQ protest, a protest that ended in the attempted stabbing of a gay man. So he has terrible views, he hates gay people, and he hangs out with people who have terrible views who also hate gay people. Now, unsurprisingly, he is not a fan of trans people as well, and he inadvertently exposed his own perversion while arguing against trans inclusion. So if a 16-year-old high school boy says he's transgender and he can get somebody of some authority in his life to back that up, he doesn't have to have undergone any kind of surgery, any kind of hormonal treatments, anything. A 16-year-old boy, that is anatomically a 16-year-old boy, according to Barack Obama and the DOJ and the DOE, he can play softball? showers in the girls' locker. Uh, all of that. That's exactly right, and that's the problem. These terms are vague, unconstitutionally vague, by the way. Gender identity, no one knows what that means. And even an effort to define it, um, it is going to even cause more problems. So, yeah, look, Robert, I went to Captain Shreve High School. I graduated in 1990. My, my crew, my boys, I mean, look, I can tell you, they would have just said, hey, next Thursday is Gender Identity Day, man. You know, we're going to self-identify as girls, and we're going to be in the other locker room. I mean, it opens it up to hijinks and all sorts of, of problems. Well, my friend group consisted of degenerate, horny perverts. Therefore, all trans people must be predators too. Okay? That is not the own that you think it is. In fact, I would call it a cell phone if it wasn't for the fact that if his friends indeed decided to perv on girls, something tells me that Johnson himself would not be interested in joining them, if you know what I mean. I get the sense that he's never really been interested in girls, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Listen, everybody is thinking it, but nobody wants to say it, so allow me to fall on the sword for everyone. Mike Johnson is probably 
most certainly gay. We're talking Marcus Bachman, six on the Kinsey skill, gay. And, and I say this because his lifelong fixation with homosexuality, it just makes him so sus to me. And I think that it's a classic case of doth protest too much. And it's not like there isn't precedent for this. Gayhomophobe.com has tracked dozens of homophobic pastors and politicians that were all caught in gay sex scandals. And this doesn't even include Tennessee Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally, who was posting fire emojis under twink bussy pics. So it all goes back to the question of, if you hate gay people so much, why do they live in your head rent free? It's a little bit suspicious, right? Why do you spend so much time thinking about them and seething over them? It's because you're trying to throw us off the scent. I can't think that it's anything but that. But we see you, Mr. Johnson, and I feel like we've advanced to the point where most closeted Republicans know that they're going to look really suspicious if they play up their hatred of gay people. So most Republicans who have common sense largely avoid the issue altogether and just choose to suffer in silence and write books about how manly they are because everyone knows being the most vocally anti-gay is going to make people think that you yourself are gay. Look, I was the biggest homophobe on earth as a teenager, but... Towards the end of my teenage years, even I progressed to the, I don't care if you're gay, bro, as long as you're not hitting on me until I eventually just came out of the closet. Hell, even Lindsey Graham knows that nothing is going to arouse more suspicion than LARPing as a homophobe. And as a Republican without a beard, he knows that he's on thin ice already, so he can't do anything to draw unwanted attention towards him. So he's playing it safe. But Johnson is uh, not doing that. But at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter why people are homophobic. Sure, the loudest ones are often externalizing their internal struggle, or perhaps they're jealous of people living their authentic lives, so that hate might actually be genuine. But I don't care. Homophobia is wrong, full stop. And as someone in a position of power, he could harm a lot of queer people who are completely innocent, just trying to live their lives. So regardless of Mike Johnson's sexuality, whether he is a closet case or an actual straight person who happens to be metrosexual, doubtful, but even if that's the case, he should know that his obsession with gay people makes him look like a giant f***. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. 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 Play stupid games, F around and find out. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Play stupid games, gay pride. Trans rights are human rights. It is necessary to push trans on the kids. Gay, 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 gay,